Yo, what is up you guys? Ethan again back at a, another adventure. And today what I have for you is absolutely... <laughs> I can't laugh. I have to... S Let's try it one more time. Yo, what is up you guys? Ethan again back at it on another adventure. And today what I have for you is this absolutely incredible mansion. This place looks amazing. I haven't been through the whole thing yet. I've just seen a little bit of the main floor. I think you guys are absolutely going to love this. Um, a little bit of information about it. Uh, it was built in 1991. Uh, it's about 8,500 square feet. As you can see, the power is still on. Um, nobody's lived here uh, for about two to three years. It sold back in early 2022. Um, and to my understanding, it's being advertised as a teardown to build a new house, which is insane because this isn't that old. But um, I think you guys are going to absolutely love this place. So let's just keep this intro nice and short and sweet. And we have a lot of house to cover, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to start off in the basement and work our way up. Um, Carlo's on the main floor, and we've got Alan with us as well. So we're just going to start in this basement. And as you can see, the power is still on. And I get a lot of comments saying, Ethan, if the power's still on, it can't be abandoned. That's not ever the case at all, usually. In a lot of cases, the power is often, sorry, is often rather paid for ahead of time. The bill's paid in advance for months, sometimes years in advance, especially with these multi-million dollar houses. Um, and also could be due to the current, the developer who owns it might want to keep the power on to prevent the basement from flooding and the house deteriorating in case they wanted to come in and salvage stuff and they'll cut it right before demo. So power being on means nothing, okay? And people say all the time, well, I can, you know, if I didn't pay my hydro bill, it would be shut off right away. A power bill is nothing to a multi-millionaire who has a house like this just sitting vacant. So I just wanted to clear that up. It's a common misconception. But anyways, let's just jump into this. So here's a, a like a wine cellar. It's not like a, like a wine cellar, wine cellar, but it's, it's nice. You can put a lot of bottles in there. Got some old like Christmas wrapping paper. So this looks like newer laminate flooring. It's crazy to me, 91 was almost 35 years ago. I, and I say that like I am like I was alive back then, I wasn't, but it's crazy to me though. There's some black mold starting. So like I said in the intro, it's, it's sat for about two and a half years, this place hasn't been lived in. And then yeah, here's your main, call it landing or basement foyer. You have a beautiful winding staircase with this lovely brown carpet, the wainscoting. Even like the woodwork here on the steps, like the way it's carved out, it's just awesome. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this, this is a nice, pretty 80s looking light fixture also. This is interesting too. Is it paint or is, oh, it's paint. That's not wallpaper, that is paint. That's really cool. Nice oak railings. You have your vacuum in the closet there. Here's your furnace. I No, this is just your hot water tanks. They had two. That's, that tells you kind of how big this place was, if you had two. Um, on the other side of this is something really cool. I think you guys are going to like. It's not something we see often in houses. At least not in this form. So, just a mechanical room with some stuff, some storage and stuff like that. Um... But then over here, you have a built-in fish tank. Is that not friggin' awesome or what? Like, scale says I am 179 pounds. Oh, look at that, all the, is that real coral? Oh, it was. Wow, so it was salt water. Is that stuff not expensive? Like coral reef and like like that type of aquarium? I could be wrong, I'm not an aquarium expert. Um, but this is a lovely rec room and oh my gosh, look at this. You have a bar. Oh wow. So the glass, it's not vandalized or anything. It's supposed to look shattered. It's supposed to look like this. You can't feel it. It's it's supposed to, that's the design. But this is awesome. Look at that. A 
nice tile. Have your glasses hanging up there. That's obviously not a real plant. Got a beer fridge. Corona, it's my favorite. I don't drink often um, anymore. When I was younger, I did, like late teens, early 20s. But, I, you know, the older I get, I just, it's just genuinely not something I enjoy. And that is okay. Nice fireplace. I think this house is gonna have a lot of fireplaces, if I'm being honest. Here's like a walkout, that's cool. These little steps up to the yard there. I wanna show this too, the, I love this style of floors. Yeah, that's awesome. And then over here, this looks like, this would have been like an exercise room. Cause you have the ball, the exercise ball and stuff. And then you've got your, uh, like your weights and stuff. French doors there, that's nice. This is really cool. Oh, look at this, there's like a wrestling belt. This place is huge. What's in here? No light? I swear this was just on, was it not? I don't think we're missing anything anyways. Let me see. Oh, oh wow. That's a pretty 90s washroom, the green. Wow, what's up guys? Yeah, this is a time capsule. This is a definite time capsule. Never been changed. You guys know that is my cup of tea. And then, what's in here? A little room. That's a closet with a little door for the panel. And then that's all mechanical in there. crawl space slash storage area that is it and just a closet so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this on just for now because I do have to come back down here and do photos so I'm gonna leave that but don't worry I will shut everything off before I leave I always do this is just another furnace room holy there's the staircase, back of it. Yeah, wow. A lot of furnace rooms in here, a lot of storage. <clears throat> and then this, oh my gosh, it's a movie theater. So you can dim the lights or you can have them at full? What's full? like? Oh, that's getting dark, isn't it? Now turn on. One second, guys. It's being difficult. Oh, there we go. Holy, it's dark in here. I don't think any light would help this, but the screen would be here. And then there are your chairs. There's gotta be more light in here. This is way too dark. Okay, that's no light at all. What one of these turns on like everything? There's gotta be something. Cause there's pot lights in here. I don't know. But anyways, that's the movie theater. You can see the recliners and I bet you they're comfortable. Let's give it the test, shall we? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Yep, I can get used to this. 
Maybe we come up with a few million and we buy this place. Okay, that's the basement. That's insane. I'm gonna close that so when Carlo comes down. Oh, wait, we didn't look at that. Not that you can see it, but it's just the VCR player and the, the Paris sound. I don't know why it's so dark in here. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go up this staircase. Cause I wanna save the front foyer for you. So there's front door or one of the front doors that goes into the garage, empty garage. Look at these floors, very nineties design. And then you come in here, closet. Here's your laundry. Washer and dryer, the white cabinet, very 80s, 90s. Nice. Oh wow, look at the striped like wallpaper. Actually, that's not wallpaper, that's paint. That's painted on. Holy crap. What's up guys? Jacket matches the era of the house. <laughs> okay. So then you come in here and holy, here's your kitchen. This is huge. Look at all the mirrors. That is so cool. These cabinets are beat, but they're old. That is a Sub-Zero fridge that was custom made to match the cabinets. So that's pricey. That's, I can see why they probably are getting ready to take that out and salvage that. There's your Thermador oven. Um, yeah, this is like dream house to me, something along those lines. A little breakfast room here, you could probably have a nice table. Obviously they did. These crystal chandeliers. Let's see, this is the front of the fridge. Does it say Sub-Zero on it? Yep. It sure does. Nice, wow. That's a Thermador, that's top of the line. Same with that. Samsung. I believe someone told me this is like an alarm system or security type deal. I thought it was a phone because I did a house with it back, I don't know, six months ago that had one of these. And I thought it was an old phone, but it wasn't. It was. It was, in fact, a security-related thing. Nice little uh, oh, intercom that I'm sure still works. So much cabinet space. Like, oh, look at that. That's cool. The paper in there. Yeah, this is, this is crazy. So much pantry and like cabinet space. This is a dream kitchen. Oh, wow. So this is probably the dining room. Wow. Definitely would have been table right in the middle. Big light fixture. Holy. French doors. Wow. That's interesting, the pillar, like built in. <laughs> okay, ready for the foyer, guys? I'm gonna come down here and show you guys. Okay, there's the front door. 
So you walk in here, steps, there's a star. Boom. Look at this. So marble floors. This is a closet. What's up guys? Another closet. And then on this side, you have a closet and probably another one. No, powder room. Uh, yeah, well, two piece. What the hell is that? Is that the alarm? It's not armed. Trouble, so the battery's dead. Or it's not set. Wonder why it's chirping. Did you open the door? Yeah, sorry. Okay, just wondering. All good. It's all good. So that's that, and then big window up there. I don't know how you'd get up there to like clean the ledge and stuff. Like I've always wondered that in these type of places. It's like high ceilings, you have the pot lights. There's your glass chandelier. But this star here in the tile is so cool. You can see the reflection of the chandelier. That's that's really cool. Here is another room, probably just like a family room. Front sitting family room. You have an oak fireplace mantle with like pillars carved out with marble or probably marble backsplash. It's gas. It's not wood burning, but it's still very nice. Well, sconces on each side, very, very nice. Nice valances on the windows. This is, they're just big rooms. You have your genuine, like, real hardwood floors, your French doors. They're just big, quality, solid rooms. Wow. Oh, we're still not done down here. We have two rooms left. So here's probably just the den or the office. You can tell just by the, the wood paneling. Is that like real? Oh yeah, that's like the real wood paneling. That's not just the cheap stuff. That's like put on. No. Very nice. French doors. I think French doors in every room, I would imagine. Well, you can lock this door. I don't really see French doors that you can lock like that but that's cool and then so there's that and then your last room for the main floor before we head up this is probably the main living room just off the kitchen this is probably their their main living area you have a beautiful stone fireplace that's probably some sort of special stone look at the sparkle it's got to it every room in here is just massive Nice high ceilings, nice, you know, hardwood floors, nice fireplaces, just a very well built house. Um, so we've pretty well covered the main floor. There's the kitchen again to show you that we've covered it. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take you guys, we've been down there, we've been here, now we're gonna take you guys up here. So we're gonna go up, Got some nice fancy carpeting. Looks like carpet you'd see in like a hotel lobby or something. That's cool. All right, up here. Oh, this looks just as grand. Holy jeez. Okay, so there's your view from up top. Okay. Look at this. Is that the master over there or is it? I don't know. Let's go here. Let's think. I think this is. We'll do the master first because we're here. Yeah, it's definitely the holy Jesus is big. Oh, wait till you guys see the bathroom. Okay, there's, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So master bedroom has the bedroom and like a sitting room. So I imagine this is probably the sitting room. You can see the marks in the carpet where they had tables and chairs. So this is the sitting area. The bed would have been right there. Wow. 
massive. This screams 90s. This is amazing. Look at this light fixture. Wow, is that real? Oh yeah, it's real. It's not the plastic ones either. That is just impressive. Oh man. Yeah, this is, this is, wow. Wall sconces, a fireplace. So that's your master bedroom slash sitting room. You also have an intercom, of course. Double doors. Like, there's pillars in the master. Like, that's insane. Okay. So then you have, like, your dressing area. So you have... Oh, shit. I mean, shoot. Closet one. So it's probably a his and hers, I imagine. So there's one of them. Okay. There's one. I don't know if this is the his or the hers. The hers is usually bigger, so I guess we'll see how big this one is. And I'm going to say that's hers because, this, the, yeah, this is the his. Yeah. My closet at home is almost bigger than this. I think it is. Which is crazy to think this is the man's master closet in a house like this. Because I think, I think mine's bigger. And my house ain't this big. Oh. My God. A fireplace in the bathroom. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The marble everywhere. I bet you these floors are heated. I'm willing to bet. Wow. You have a his and hers sink. I love that. Um, we completely skipped this glass shower. Now what's cool is you have the door here, which we'll go in and look because it looks kind of cool. There's a lot of, look at all the different faucets and all that. Oh yeah, it's big in there. And then the glass here, you can see in and out. And same with the toilet in the, the bidet, which like a French door. It's not really a private space in here, but I guess if you're sharing a bathroom with your significant other, you're not really worried about that. Wow. So many mirrors. I could say what's up guys a million times in here. Wow. Look, even these light fixtures are just such a 90s look to them. French doors coming in here. Wow. Wayne Scotting, I'm probably missing things. Crown molding. Pretty impressive. This is a big house, man. Wall sconces, they're like framed. I don't even know where to go next. I'm just gonna go furthest and work my way back. So here's a bedroom where we're gonna come right back to. Wow. Not even a master bedroom. And like, this is like impressive. Look at the faucets. <sighs> Soaker tub, jets, there's your shower. Toilet with like the rugs that are cut out perfectly and they match the wallpaper or the paint on the walls, the, the burgundy or like the, the orange. Wow, man. Hollywood lighting. So, oh, we skipped this bedroom. That's oh, just the bedroom, I guess. Dark green. So it's probably appearing very dark on camera. It's a dark, cloudy day. So it's like a built-in here. You probably have a TV and stuff. It's very old, like oak. And I imagine there's a closet around the corner. 
Oh, no, maybe not. There's no closet in here. Wait, what? I have no idea. That means it's not a bedroom, right? Doesn't it have to have a closet to be a bedroom, officially? That's what someone left a comment and said once. That in order for it to be a bedroom, it has to have a closet. I don't know how true that is, but... Someone has definitely said that. Because this has a closet. Pretty decent one. This is bigger than the his closet in the master. So... So you got the, that, that, is it an office then in here maybe? Because, uh, or just like a TV room maybe, you know, for the kids? I don't know, but there's no closet. Let me know what you guys think. So let's, we're gonna call it a bedroom, but I don't think it is. We're gonna say we're at three bedrooms. Here's four, right here. It's got a closet. It has, I assume, a bathroom. Yep. Holy jeez, I got a tile. <laughs> yeah, wow. What an awesome house. Um, I found this one leaving another location um, a couple weeks ago. So, this is a, we can call it an Ethan Mini original. What's this? How many damn closets do you need in one house? But I get it, it's big, you have a big family. Okay, so how many? One, two, three, four bedrooms upstairs. Oh, nope, nope. Five. You've got, you guessed it, a closet. <laughs> <laughs> and a lovely little ensuite with, again, custom tile work and this like hunter green forest, hunter green. Yeah, hunt, that's hunter green. Uh, maybe your shower. Let's see, let's do the, t the test because I'm like 6'4". I don't fit under a lot of these showers. Okay, that one, nope. So my eye level is there. It's not going to work. If I, I'm walking right into that. I guess I could adjust it, but I'm not going to touch it, but y you get it. Stunning. I really hope they don't tear this down. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I hit stop record. What is up, you guys? Okay. I think that's it. Can I turn this off? Okay, so this is what it looks like with, like, it off. And I kind of like this better. It has more of, like, the mysterious oh, that's not off is it how do i turn that off it has more of like the abandoned vacant feel to it when everything's off and i, I kind of like that um but anyways oh god i knew it was coming and it still scared me okay i think we've seen the whole oh wait i want to see this lit up that's what i wanted to do no that's the closet of oh, this Beautiful. Okay, I think that's it. We're gonna do an outro down here. That's it, guys. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this explore. One of the probably fa my favorite houses I've done this year so far. One of them for sure. Um, like I said, was doing another location a couple weeks ago. Came across this on the way back. And I'm glad to be able to bring it to you here today. Um, so let me know what you guys thought down below it in the comments. Leave a like if you liked it. And lastly, if you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. We're doing this stuff two to four times a week. But uh, I think that's about it. So I will catch you guys on the next adventure. Stay safe. Peace.